that night. The stairwell, the living room, the bedroom, the bed on the right side of the room. As you walk into the room, there was a bed to the right. Um, the bathroom in close proximity. <laughs> the laughter, the uproarious laughter. And the multiple attempts to escape and the final ability to do so. Thank you very much, Dr. Ford. Dr. Christine Blasey Ford testifying today. Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota, Democratic member of the Judici Judiciary Committee, uh, joins us live now. Senator, thanks for, for being with us Thank tonight. You. I know this must have been an exhausting day. Well, I just, she, she was so graceful and so dignified, went through every question you could imagine. And I was just shocked by what happened actually in the afternoon. Uh, we had had a hearing where we at least got some sense of what this evidence is. Of course, we still don't have the man that was in the room, Mark Judge, and we don't have any of the other witnesses that we've been allowed to subpoena. But in the afternoon, they just turned it into a red meat scorched earth policy moment. They just left everything behind and decided to make it into a political circus. And I was shocked by it, um, but I still think America saw this woman in the morning. They saw her credibility and they saw her answer questions. There was a remarkable moment in the afternoon session where you were pressing Judge Kavanaugh about his his credibility, as far as I could tell, is what you were getting at in terms of the way that he's talked about his past drinking, whether or not he'd been honest about um, drinking and whether he'd always remembered things that had happened while he had 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 been drinking and there was this moment where he turned it around and started asking about you drinking um, in a way that you seemed taken aback he actually came back from a break and then apologized about that do you do you have any sense of what was going on there I think that I was asking some tough questions I was asking him because he had said this isn't a he said she said this is a he said they said uh, he has said that he has never blacked out or gotten so drunk uh, that he doesn't remember what happens the next day and I asked him has that ever happened or where you at least partially didn't remember what happened because I was trying to get at um, how this could be that we have such different accounts and instead of answering the question he turned it and he did apologize but I don't think anyone prepares for a Supreme Court nominee asking you if you blacked out but that happened to me and I firmly told him that uh, after he apologized that uh, growing up uh, with my dad who is an alcoholic um, but um, through treatment uh, is now sober at age 90 um, that you uh, are very careful about drinking when you grow up with something like that and so I just thought it was another moment where he wasn't answering the questions and my whole focus today was let's get that FBI investigation open again let's do the background check even if we had one week Rachel one week and they're rushing this through it appears they have not canceled the vote for 9 30 tomorrow morning and i think most of america watching that would have said could we just get the facts could you get the polygraph expert that said she passed with flying colors where it's been verified they won't even allow us to call that expert Watching from home, just watching on a screen, um, one of the things that surprised me about Judge Kavanaugh that I didn't expect was that he, he seemed not just angry and aggressive, but like he was having c trouble controlling himself, trouble controlling his impulses, including in that interaction with you and the subsequent apology. Um, but when it came to the morning session and, and watching Dr. Blasey Ford talk about her experience and her allegation, I wondered how you saw that as a former prosecutor. I know you worked on sexual assault cases. Was there anything about her testimony that spoke to you about her, her credibility in terms of what you've seen from other similar cases? And well, I, there was a, a, a drawing I saw later that said, who's supposed to be emotional? Mm -hmm. uh, she was steady. Um, he was the one uh, that didn't seem as steady and was more emotional. But what she was doing was basically laying out the fact that you have so well articulated during the show is that she actually has talked about this in the past she said it to a therapist um, her husband had remembered the name uh, Brett Kavanaugh um, she has with some detail remembered uh, the assault and all she's asked is that the FBI 
figure out when Mark Judge was working at the Safeway uh, when she saw him later, because that would help her get the exact date. Um, and she has said she'd like to see it open, but she can't get the president to reopen it. Um, Senator Grassley could get the president to reopen it. All he would have to say is we're holding the vote for a week until we get some information like we would with any other nominee. And certainly Judge Kavanaugh could just make a phone call to the president and get him to reopen it. And then um, if his account is correct, we will have the information. And I think that is the search for truth would end there. But we are not getting that investigation as far as we know uh, as of right now at this moment in time. Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota, thank you for being here tonight. I know that vote, at least for now, is scheduled 9.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, good luck. Keep us surprised. It is. Thank you, Rachel.